Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And if you are a user of a PC that has an AMD processor of the latest generations, um, older generations, it seems there's really no um, much of an effect. But if you are with one brand new PC that has uh, the latest Ryzen uh, AMD CPUs like the 9000 and so on, it seems that the update that we got uh, with the um, bug fixes also included an AMD fix. Um, so if you're not sure if you have an AMD chip, you can go right click the start menu, go in task manager and just look at your CPU. Uh, usually if it's called uh, in the performance tab and if, if it's called um, you know, Ryzen or AMD or whatever. Uh, but the, really, it, it focuses on the latest generation. What happened is that in the latest generations of AMD CPUs, AMD had shown, you know, performance details. And when they came to market, a lot of people said, well, it, the performance isn't as good as what they're saying. And so a lot of people were wondering exactly what was happening. Uh, it seems that for the performance to happen, you need to have that update. So on 24H2, there's an update. And on uh, 23H2, now you have an update that came with the bug fixes. So if you have a latest AMD chip in your PC, it might actually be a good idea. A few benchmarks were done, and they were saying that the improvement is about 10% which is you know, good enough to notice on, on certain applications for sure. So uh, that was part of the latest update for bug fixes for Windows 11 23H2 uh, for AMD. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.